You're watching PLZ Soccer, this is your English Football Bulletin on Thursday. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has yet again insisted he is not thinking about breaking any records after his side east to a 3-1 win away to Brighton yesterday. A brace from Mo Salah inspired the new champions, who now need just three wins from their last four games to reach a new record points total. Here's Klopp speaking after the match. Could I assume we get all these points? So we, I think, from now on about the Burnley game. And when I think about 92 points, then I think, OK, how could we get 97 last year? It's unbelievable. And we played Champions League always in midweek. So that's unbelievable. And in the other games last night, Burnley and Sheffield United edged closer to the Europa League spots with 1-0 wins over West Ham and Wolves respectively. The Blades were up to 7th, with Burnley in 9th. Man City impressed again, hammering Newcastle 5-0. Veteran David Silva was the star of the show. To moving between the lines, I never seen someone like him. And uh, he came back for the lockdown in incredible uh, top form and incredible, you know, uh, rhythm. And uh, of course, if he decides to play, he can play everywhere. And uh, no doubt about, about, about this. There are three more Premier League games this evening, with Tottenham meeting Bournemouth and Everton playing Southampton at 6, before Aston Villa hosts Manchester United at 8.15. United are the form team in England, remaining unbeaten in their last 16 and are buoyed by talks of a Paul Pogba contract extension. The same cannot be said for Villa. They are 18th and in desperate need of points if they are to stay in the division. And Barcelona condemned City rivals Espanyol to relegation and kept their slim title hopes alive as they beat them 1-0 at Camp Nou last night. The game saw a straight red card for each team in the second half. And the sultry goal for Luis Suarez made him the club's third all-time top goalscorer with 195 goals. Thank you for watching and remember to see other bulletins you can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and you can download our app for all the latest.